How's it going, boys? So today we're playing Spell Cascade. Now, I don't know what Spell Cascade is, but it's maybe something like this. So, it is a fighting emancipation, a Sunbird's Invocation, Thousand Year Storms, and Immortal Sun Con combo deck. Oh, yes! If you drop any of those uh, four cards, you're probably winning. If you drop them and you haven't won, well, next turn you're probably winning. Essentially, it's beyond ludicrously too much overkill combo power. We don't even need Fire Emancipation here, by the way. It's just neat to have. It's completely just flexing at this point. In reality, you want Sunbirds and you want Thousand Year Storm most of the time. Immortal Sun is nice. Sadly, we couldn't fit in two copies of it, but hey, it's a life. So we have two Fae Fishes, four Shimmers of Possibility, and yes, some of you are thinking, why aren't you using Seed the Truth? Because with Thousand Year Storm, you're most likely accident. well, with Sunbird's Invocation. With Sunbird's Invocation, you draw all the cards, so you may accidentally mill yourself. Four Lightning Strikes, four Explores, four Growth Spirals, four Slaying Fires, two Sweldering Suns, four Urus, Titans of Nature, four, two Fire Emancipations, four Sunbird's Invitations, and two, two, two Thousand Year Storms, and now it's the actual and Immortal Sun Kun. And a bunch of lands, 24 to be specific, oh yes. And I'm using a lot of these flip lands, or whatever you want to call them, where you choose the color you want. They're pretty decent, they're pretty neat a lot of the times. And the sideboard, honestly nothing of importance. To cleanse the mind, mythosis if you want to be cheeky and sneaky. But in reality it's sh uh, Shatterstorm and by Forge just to remove artifacts if the need arises for that. But yeah. So, without any further ado, boys, let's just get a cracking and see what happens, shall we? And, in the meantime, down in the comments, I'm gonna be pinging the comment where there's the new video on the other channel, if anyone's interested, about gaming companies and why some games do extremely shady things. Well, not shady things, but, you know, why microtransactions and some games fail when they could be saved and whatnot. And a pretty neat discussion. But in the meantime, let's thank our new Patreon. Gonzo Gonzalez. Thank you, thank you very much for becoming a Patreon and so supporting the channel. That is 100% amazing, as always. Thank you to everyone who chooses to do so. And... That's like the second person with a Latino name type that has uh, be be become a Patreon. Pretty funny, considering I see the analytics. And a not, not a lot of you are from ethnically uh, Latin states, so good joke. Or maybe it is. Maybe all the analytics lie and everyone's just using uh, VPNs. Yeah. Who knows? Anyway, Shimmer of Possibility, why not? Enemy Kun has not done anything at all. And I want lands. Immortal Sun and stuff happening. Look at this. Sunbirds, a Stormy Boy, and an Immortal thingy. And he's a Vault deck. That's bad. That is 100% bad. It's a wall, it's a creature, can't really kill it. Okay, what can we do, do that will be hilarious? Ah, uh, not a lot, honestly, here. Fire Emancipation, maybe? No, my dose of a loon, why not? It's free real estate at this point in time. Also, we're probably not... Well... Oh, oh! Raise the alert, not on curve. God, you're a bad player. Only shit players don't have raised the alert on curve with Invaldex or the stupid dragon on 4. No, seriously, Wizards loves their Valdex. It's actually amazing if someone does not draw it perfectly. But anyway, here's a bird. It's called a sunbird. It does random sunbird things. At least that's why I hope what it does. Maybe it does more, maybe it does less. Oh god, are you actually telling... Huh? Wait a minute. You're that deck just that OTKs with evolution, I think. Most likely. 
Okay, in that case, well, forget I said anything. Bam, bam. Uh, let's see what we want. Uh, I think we want an Uru. Oh, yes. Uru, give us your strength. Okay, that was extremely useless, Uru. Well played, you piece of shit. Okay, if I survive until next turn, though, we're in pretty good situation. Also, this does nothing for the Sunbird, if anyone does not know. Oh, but hey, here's a hoping. Also, should not pay the life for that. It may, may actually be a difference maker. So, enemy con. He's just searching for the... Dude! You are pretty shit at the game. You're not drawing your combo at all. That's... That's really pathetic. Wow! Talk about zero skill, boy. Amazing. Okay, I'm gonna just do the greatest setup of all time in that case. Okay, let's see how we can actually do this. Uh, so we're gonna do this. Okay, that's a fight emancipation right there. Um, yeah, and I'm, I guess I'm gonna do this, and, um, what do I even copy? Now, we're not copying the fighting emancipation. We're doing other things. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna hit his face. Just because I can, mostly. Also, because that pretty much just wins me the game. Yeah, don't... Boys! Look at this! The guy's playing an OTK style of deck and your boy just absolutely demolished him without knowing what he's doing. If that's not called dominance, nothing really is in this life. Okay, onward we go, I guess. That's one win in the bucket. Amazing. Oh, it's gonna be a hard throw to hit. Well, actually, it's not. We made this deck, we won a bunch of games, then we lost a bunch of games because we forced 50% win rate, and now maybe we're gonna have an excellent time because a better win rate. Ah, uh, who knows, boys, who knows? Anyway, I know only one thing and one thing only. It's that we have chances for less dances. Uh, absolutely disgusting, I'll take it. Okay, so starting with the Hinterlands Harbor, a Sweldering Sun, if you're an- Ooh, ooh, oh, 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 ah, ooh, ah! Enemy con, look at that, you filthy degenerate! A live gain deck! Disgusting! Appalling! I hate you! With a passion! Ah, oh, but that's not gonna be good, Sweldering Sun just deals with that stuff, boys. Well, that's why we have it in the deck. Admittedly, we only have two of them, uh, but they're pretty lucrative even uh, even at such low quantities. So that's pretty nice. Okay, look at that, a Heliod. Good thing we actually did stuff. Wait, oh, now this is fine. We pay life. We play the Uru. Ka-ching, 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 boys. Okay, a land is actually really good because Fire Emancipation exists. That means we can drop Fey of Fishes, and Fey of Fishes will be, like, literally the highest tier beat stick that you have ever seen in your pitiful existence. Also, okay, now I need to be a little bit more methodical, maybe. Also, could have probably put in some kind of AoE removal in the sideboard, not gonna lie. If you touch my fighting emancipation, I will concede. I'm warning you. I'm not joking here. Wait a minute. Are you gonna be greedy and create a furry? I think you're gonna be greedy and create. I seriously should have put something in that uh, that AOE is in the sideboard. Yeah, that's that's. I sometimes just don't do that because of fucking reasons, I guess. Not the smartest choice in my life. Not gonna lie. Okay, that's, that's, that's annoying, but it still dies to absolutely anything I do next turn, boys. <laughs> Booyah! Boys, let me tell you something. Enemy con can't do shit. Is that enough to kill me? No, that's not enough to kill me. I think... Oh god, one HP, boys. What a time to be alive. Okay, okay, this is good. Not really, but this is questionable. Okay, can't even play that. 
Okay, so we're banking every. Wait, why, why, what am I banking anything on? Okay, perfection at its finest, boy. Can't even cast this. Wow. Okay, uh, pay life, I guess. 10 out of 10. Seriously, should probably put something in the sideboard. Well, the lightning strike is pretty good. I might as well kill the Fury, but this is 10 HP. <laughs> Okay, yeah, enemy can kind of just got a lot of stuff happening really good for him. Not gonna lie, can't play it? What do you mean can't play it? Okay, play it like this then. Okay, let's see it ability. Nothing! If I got a lightning strike, I could have killed the healing pigeon. An enemy could would be Dunzo Schmunzo. But instead, enemy could decided to be, hey, like, hey, dude, why? You can just attack and please forget you need- Yes, yes, yes! Wait, no, I'm still dead, huh? Okay, still dead, boys. Still dead as a brick. Well, that's the 50% win rate for you. Seriously, should put something in the sideboard that actually kills stuff. It would not be even hard, though. No, actually, I'm gonna do it. I should probably stop making- This is not the first time I lose, because- I decided, hey, the sideboard's a joke. <laughs> it's not gonna be the last time I lose because I decided I don't care about the sideboard. So, get rid of fighting emancipation. Uh, do this. Press this. Instant speed. And cinderclasm. And what's it called? Something something. Vrat. I uh, can't seem to find it. Where is it? Storm's Rat. Perfection. Okay, now we have a sideboard that could have 100% saved our hides there. But that's fine. That's fine. You know, that's 100% that's, that's fine. Okay, onward we go. Oh, boys. Yeah, the things we do, honestly. Okay, Nichi. Let's see what you have in store for us. Hopefully it's nothing. Hopefully he's AFK. Hopefully a lot of things happen. Okay, we go first. That's amazing. That's actually really good. Let's see what you are. Blue Tempo? Oh, look at that. Thought Seizure. Wow. Exactly what I wanted to see. Dude, you got rid of the Lightning Strike. That's that's a little bit redundant. Also, that's, that's, that's pretty useful. Considering we're aiming to cast Sunbirds like real fast, real good. A uh, Thought Seizure. Of course, because we're playing Magic the goddamn fucking Gathering. Makes perfect sense, honestly. Okay, do it like this, because that's better. Uh, yes, I think this is the card we want to play. Okay, that was not the card that I want to play. Did I screw up somewhere in the in between and in the middle? I don't know. Well, we're gonna find out, boys. I have land advantage. Yeah, I have serious land advantage at the moment. Okay, that's absolutely great. We're gonna have zero cards in the hand. Okay, even better. Hey, you know what? At least we ramped, boys. At least we ramped. Should have put a new. You're gonna counterspell that. You have Drown and Lock. Of course, the Thief of Sanity. Who else but the Thief of Sanity? Okay, you know what's the ironic part? Can't cast it, that's the... Jesus Christ! Not gonna lie, that's not exactly bad. Okay, game, seriously, magic, start mixing your stupid fucking decks. I can already see it uh, written in the goddamn stars above that this guy has three more drown, uh, drown and locked in his goddamn stupid hand. Okay, you're a meme deck. A meme deck that exiles my cards. I really dislike that. Technically only for a while, but still kind of really dislike that. Okay. What great shuffling. Three explores? No, seriously. He has all the drown and locked in his hand. It's, it's quite amazing how bad this is. Uh, but that's fine, because we can play this. And suddenly, Wobblam, probably a land. Yup. Well, that was hard to anticipate. Real hard to anticipate. But the good part is, with been playing this many lands, it's technically gonna be uh, a really hard to brick with lands. 
Yeah, we have played almost 50% of our land. Correction, we have played literally every land in the deck. No. I have enough H. Dude, he has four lands, I have at least 40 lands. This is absurd at the moment. And you wanna, you know, you know, wanna know what's the worst part? The motherfucker has probably a shimmer of possibility out of all the cards you could have stole. You legitimately stole a shimmer of possibility, huh? Uh, that's insanely stupid, not gonna lie, enemy con. Kinda, kinda, kinda makes me question your life choices. And you know, I'm... Told you he has all the drown in the locks? Of course it's another Uru! What else could it be? Amazing. Okay, that's actually good because I dislike you with a passion. No, don't pay the addendum. It honestly does not matter to me, but... Yeah! Why am I not even remotely surprised about the outcome of things currently here? Why does it seem so goddamn normal? At least he's not stealing any more of my cards. And chances are the guy's gonna a land. <gasps> That's not a land! Magic, are you feeling alright? Oh. You know what that doesn't do? That does not steal Sunbird's invocation. Also, I'm getting I'm getting Uru back. Wait, can I cast two of them? Shit! Shimata! Okay, gonna absolutely completely obliterate my own deck, but this is a necessity. And again, keep in mind, Sunbird's invocation does not do a Of course it's a land. Of course it's a land. Three, six. 11, 11, yeah, that's, yeah, that's more than probably half our lands. Wait, what? Dude! The fuck? I hate you. A lot. Okay, this is fine, though. This is 100% on the fine scale. Okay, also, give me back my auto. Yeah, I kind of want him back, just a little bit. DUDE! Well, sucks to be you, because you you still lost out on that. And also, that Uru still procs, so bonus points. Oh, boy. Actually, I could have used these later. <laughs> well, he's still got a land, boys. Uh, you know what, not even gonna pay life there. It seems redundant at this point. Okay! I don't know what's happening anymore. It's arguable, did I ever know what's... Yeah, he surrendered. Good. What deck mixing, what amazement. You know, at this point, I'm pretty confident uh, that they have just figured it out. X card is good against X card. So, if they want you to win or lose, they literally just like, Hey, here's X card, and here's X card. We're gonna give you the counter card to that card, like, you know, all four copies in the first ten cards you get. So, uh, have a nice day. You're winning. It's it's gonna be fabulous. Yeah, it seems like that. Pretty funny. Lee Ichori. Ichiro. Sounds pretty lame. Also, a card and avatar. I feel domestic problems literally emanating from the guy. It's fine. Not my problems. That's why mostly it's fine. Okay, Anuru, some lightning strikes, mortal Sunkun. Technically could not get a lot better than this. Or I could have won all the game. Surrender. Make it better, enemy Kun. Make it so. Okay, is this the situation where I have... Okay, questionable. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna be greedy. Yeah, that seems about right. I am greedy. That cannot be underestimated by any stretch of the imagination. I don't play to win. I play for absolute perfection. Also, that was extremely questionable even by any standards that I could personally ever acquire. 
Okay, let's see it to believe it. Play the forest because we need this as a red land. Just to be safe. Just, just, you know, also, he has one land. I have literally at least 800 times more lands than this chump. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. Aww. Nice. Okay, uh, can I please get a land, enemy con? Can I, you know, you, you have two lands. I literally could not care less about you as an existence. Uh, so how about I get a land? You know, again, thank you very much, Immortal Sun Kun time, boys. And then fiery emancipation time. And then another fiery emancipation time. It's just gonna get a lot better from here on out. Okay, that's 27 HP. That's literally what you would call the danger zone. Oof. Oh, boys! Is it Christmas? Yeah, it is. Oh, this guy is not having a good day. This guy is having the opposite. You motherfucking shit. I hate you. A lot. Ah, oh, 4 HP. That's nothing. Okay, no, don't summon a- Stop summoning shit. No one cares about you. Okay, good. Something. We, we drew stuff. Okay, Uru is technically completely free real estate at this point, so might as well do it like this. Okay, what are we hoping for? A sunbird. No sunbird today. Okay, let's try this again. Fire Emancipation. Good luck, enemy con. I hope you don't have it. Ah, oh, yes. Okay, enemy con. Let's see. Let's let's see it. A oh, goddamn. I don't, I don't like that. Okay, you're being a little bit tad too aggressive for my tastes. Also, can you please not attack me? Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. How do we actually win this? Oh, yeah, by shimmering with possibilities. Okay, slaying fire also seems fine. Uh, but first things first, this. Okay, two slaying fires. Yeah, that seems slayer. Okay, let's see it to believe it. Ah, Let's see it to believe it. Ah, And let's do this, just because we can. Another slaying fire? What am I supposed to do with that many slaying fires, though? Okay, if I do the math, which I will not do, by the way. Do I have enough to just slaying fire him? Nah, that's 27 HP, probably. Okay, I'm actually pretty close to dead beyond. Not good. Okay, that's useless. Nice. Okay, that's still a lot useless. Okay, uh, plan B. Play in Uru. See what happens. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Perfect. Could not, could, I could not ever want anything more. Also, the question uh, becomes now, do you think this guy will legitimately... I need it, I need to draw... Ah, that's actually not bad. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Obviously, we're keeping that one alive. Okay, questionable. Okay, Fey of Fishes. Wait, wait a minute, can't cast her. That's fine, though. Sacrifice your pawn. Wait, do I still lose because re I think I still lose because reasons. Sh shit. Okay, please be as stupid as I think you are. Come on. No! No! Dude! That's so shit! Come on! That could have all all of that could have been averted. But no. But no. Oh, if only we got that stupid thing of vicious faster. If only he did not have 27 HP, that could have been a blast. Yeah, that, that one felt wrong, not gonna lie there, boys. That one felt a lot wrong. 
He could have just, again, not attacked and it would have been 100% fine. But I guess life is life and we just have to, well, essentially deal with that. Okay. So, onward we go. Maniac. Cool. Let's see. Two lands, something castable, something something. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, okay, okay. So, this is the idea. Okay, that's a knight's deck. I no longer like what I'm seeing. That is 100% a knight deck. Yeah, that is, that is the most knighty knight deck I have ever seen in my life. Okay, Sweldering Sun, there we go. Yeah, I could probably remove some uh, some of the one pingy things to actually deal. Well, to put more Sweldering Suns in. That technically could work. Wait a minute, what? Uh, okay, that is not a Knight's deck. That is a disgusting Equip deck. You know what that means? I don't need to instantly kill it, I can just wait a little bit. Watch this. Yeah, go, 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 go. Wait, I think he has pro No way he has protection, right? Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. Okay, that's, that's pretty perfect, not gonna lie, boys. Okay, drop that, Red. Okay, now the plan is simple. Find a land. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted, a land. Okay, and now, oh, I can play this. That's even better, a bit. And then we can just play a Sunbird's Invocation into a Sunbird's Invocation into a Sunbird's Invocation. Okay, do you not get tired of yourself, enemy con? I honestly feel like I should deal with that, but I won't. I won't. Imagine he has the full one-shot combo. Well, we're just gonna have to wait and sadly see. Oh, you can you can unattach something to make something invulnerable. Okay, that's just flat out annoying at this point. First strike. Okay, technically it's fine. Draw a card. Wow, what a play. What a play. Masterful. Very, very masterful indeed. Okay, you're gonna do something else dumb? Please don't. Okay, unexpected. No, seriously, I did not expect that one. Okay, but anyway, do this. Let's see it to believe it. A thousand year storm? Uh, actually, yes, thank you. A thousand year storm sounds very thousand yeary. If I die, I will scream though. Imagine if he drops the one drop that gives double strike to equip things and then he equips that to that. He can do it, because rem Actually, no, that's a warrior, not a knight. No, wait, yeah. He can't, it costs, uh, it's, it's a one, uh, it costs white, so he can't do that. What the fuck is this? Dude, that's very cool, obviously, you equipped a core, core warrior with the no one cares thingy. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, enemy con. This is gonna be particularly disgusting if I draw something useful. WATCH! Technically, at least useful. Well, actually, it's pretty good. Watch this, boys. This is what I mean by spell cascade, because... Okay, that was fucking horrible! Game! Okay, everything's fine suddenly. Uh, pay life, you know why? Because reasons. Let me show you some goddamn reasons. Okay, how am I doing this? Ah, uh, doesn't matter, honestly. Okay, that's good. That's actually one of the things I wanted to see happen. So, okay, wait, how did we cast? No, we didn't. Okay, so in that case, we cast this first. Well, it doesn't matter, we just want Sweldering Sun a little bit later also, because of reasons. Okay, that's useful. And now Thousand Year Storm starts copying things. And I'm gonna use this opportunity to draw a land, because we're gonna need that. And a Lightning Strike, very good. I actually think I could possibly kill the guy. 
Okay, that allows me to play more things, and this allows me to play things. Are you starting to understand what's happening, boys? Yeah. We draw lands, and considering we have so many things that allow us to play lands, we technically continue to ramp all spell cascading. That's the beauty of this deck. That's like the main thing of a jig. Uh, you know what, enemy con That's very cute and shit. But you know what? I'm gonna have to say, no. 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 No, 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 no. You don't... You don't get to do that. You do not. Maybe that still works, I honestly don't know. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, enemy kun is, uh, well, pre-donezo. But wait, I am not yet done with him. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. We are 100% not done just yet. Yeah, good luck at reattaching or deattaching or whatever the hell you're doing. Wait, that still actually did something amazing. Okay, uh, now a little bit of this. Yeah, that's that's a lot of casts of stuff. Okay, do this. See what I mean? It, it kind of gets a little bit, a lot ridiculous as time progresses. And yeah, it has already become extremely ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna need those growth spirals, by the way. I'm gonna need those lands. I just need to be careful with the fact that I don't accidentally, again, mill myself to infinity. Ah, uh, no, no, exactly what I wanted. You know why, boys? Because now I can play this. And now I can play this. And yeah, it just... Yeah, as, as stated before, a little bit a lot ridiculous. Oh yes, it, se it seems... It seems unreasonable, and that's mostly because it literally is unreasonable. It literally is extremely unreasonable, the things that we are doing here. Ah, uh, but that's why it's called a spell cascade deck, boys. Because we can cascade spells. Okay, I'm gonna actually just kill him, I think. It, it, it's getting a little bit out of... Yeah, he just surrendered. Boys, that's what you call a spell cascade. Also, technically, one thing that could be done in this deck to make it arguably better is removing Uru, adding four Cultivates, and literally removing uh, all the uh, lands except Basics and flip uh, flips uh, and, you know, I don't know, six, six uh, double lands. That's pretty much it. That could arguably be also better, because Uru is meant to ramp, but he does not, uh, be, but he does not scale with a thousand year storm play. So yeah, as you can see, fire emancipation, one hundred percent not even necessary if we go off, and if we go off, and when we go off, we go off hard. So yeah, anyway, so this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, check out the channel, check out Discord, check out the Patreon, check out the everything, and have a nice day, bye bye!